Hey guys, my name is Phil and welcome to today's video. Now today's topic is going to be an Elemental Pro review. And I wanted to shoot this video because over the last year I've been using Elemental Pro, but over the last few months, I've actually been increasing the amount of use I've had with Elemental Pro, whether it be for niche websites, things like that, because there's a few features about it I've really enjoyed and um, I've sort of been discovering new ones. So that's been really exciting. So my sort of intention for this video is hopefully to help you decide if you if Elemental Pro is actually right for you and whether you want to use it. And as a side note, if you actually haven't yet got uh, started with Elemental Pro and you're thinking about it, I'm giving away a free SEO course um, for WordPress for anyone who decides to buy Elemental Pro using the links in the description. I am an affiliate, so I will get a small kickback and that's why I wanted to give you an extra bonus. Um, and I'm also not selling this course so no one else can purchase it. it. It's exclusive for you guys. So that is there if you want it as well. So what I'm going to be talking about today is sort of the things I've learned about Elementor, the modules that I've really liked, as well as the features that I've really liked. I'm also going to show you sort of the back end, what you can expect when you get Elementor Pro. There's a few things that um, obviously you won't be able to see unless you get the theme itself. So I'm going to sort of share all of that information with you. And by the end of it, you should have a good idea if Elementor Pro is actually right for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump behind the screen right now and I'm going to get started with this review. OK, guys, here we are first on the Elementor website. Now, there's a few things I just want to point out. I'm not going to spend too much time here, but I just want to give you a general overview of what you can sort of expect. So the first thing about Elementor is the features I want to talk about. So Elementor is a plugin. You can actually add it on any of your existing themes. And what it's going to allow you to do is to use the Elementor um, elements as well as the editor inside of any page. So it's really nice. And there are lots of great uh, free themes you can actually use. For this example, I'm going to be using a free theme so you can sort of um, get an idea of what you can build and without having any extra cost. Um, so those are some things to think about. And the things that uh, Elementor can actually do are pretty amazing. It has got a WooCommerce builder. For, so for those people who want to have like a cheap Shopify alternative, having um, just a free WordPress theme and a uh, Elementor Pro sort of membership, you can actually build all of the WooCommerce things that you need. And WooCommerce, of course, is free um, to use. So that's really good to know. You also do have a lot of integrations with the pro membership. You'll be able to have things like all your email marketing responders, uh, things like Zapier, as well as a lot of other features, which I'll go to in a little bit later. There's also a pop-up builder, which you can use, which is really handy. I haven't used it too much, but I do like it in case I have things like sales. I can create a pop-up builder like that. Um, use the pop-up builder really easily. And then also the design is very easy to go. Um, mainly these were the ones that I wanted to talk about because if you don't have the pro membership, you won't actually be able to use any of them. So um, that's all there. The other thing I quickly want to touch on is the pricing, just so you understand what yourself, uh, what you're getting yourself into. Um, so of course the free is here. I did shoot a video about free versus paid for Elementor. So if you haven't yet seen that, check that out. But basically you don't get much, um, you don't get much access to anything. It's just a basic response. A basic sort of version so you can see what Elementor is like um, but what you can get is for only $49 a year so it's really cheap you can get all of these um, features inside of Elemental Pro and this is for one site but if you wanted to have more you could either get um, the, the $99 for three sites or if you own a you know an agency I'd suggest you get you know the thousand sites it's much more affordable um, than getting single licenses so that's something to think about. Most people will actually just go for the $49 for one site for a year. Um, comparing, comparing that if you're trying to create an e-commerce store, Shopify, I believe, is like $50 minimum a month. So you're saving loads. It's a twelfth of the cost. So um, that's at the base plan as well. So those are the first few things I wanted to talk about. You get loads of stuff with the pro um, package as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you sort of what Elementor looks like, right? So here is a demo site I've actually built. Um, I, I created the entire thing on another tutorial. I'll link that in the video if you want to see it. Um, but basically inside here, uh, I've created it. This is one of the pre-made templates and I'll show you those in a second. But on the left is where we have all our modules, right? So if you um, can see here, we've got the basic ones, which is the 10 um, beginner modules you get 
on the free membership so you've got all your basic things like text and headings and images videos that sort of stuff um, but you only have these 10 there's not really much else you can do it's perfect if you are a hobbyist and you're just creating like a basic website you can more than use the free version just to create your basic things but once you start getting into um, the pro version that's when you need things like the forms and um, the countdown these two are my most used ones in all of it I like to do a lot of launches for a different people so having countdown and form um, capabilities are great and your form integrates with all your major sort of email marketing um, platforms as well which is really cool but you also have things like you know your Facebook pages your quotes your share buttons the share buttons are really really attractive as well I'll quickly show you just so you can see what it looks like where did I drop it drop it in here as you can see and then you can just add them as you need to um, say so if this one wants to be Pinterest you know super easy super quick so I do love this particular module it is uh, very handy if you are someone who likes to create blogs it helps get more growth and then you can also do things like galleries and you can have your own personal personalized logins and things like that if you have a membership so there's loads of stuff to do now there are things also like reviews if you are creating websites for clients um, but apart from that I didn't really want to show you too much else to do with the modules there is one extra cool thing um, that the pro version of Elementor does though which um, I'll quickly just show you before we go move forward and that is allowing uh, templates that you create to be added either to your header or your footer so down here I've created four blank widgets right and if you wanted to say put a form in here all you would have to do is create a quick form um, inside one of these templates so I'll just quickly drop one in like so and then once you've done that you can add in the text you know remove the labels obviously you'd want to customize it a little bit maybe add in you know the text block above it with some information but once you do that you can actually save it as a template like so and then once you save it you can add this template into the widget areas so that's really really cool so you can add actually any widget into it it's um it's one of the features that I haven't seen many page builders allow you to do which is really really cool even the premium ones um, but it's, it makes things a lot more versatile right so let's just say I wanted to put some social media icons on here I could come through I could create another section I could drop my social media icons on here and then once that is done I'll just where did I probably scroll past them somewhere anyway that that around anyway so um, once you do that you could just drop that module into here you know how that's how quick it is it's extremely easy to do and um, having that capability is something I was really fortunate to to realize because um, yeah like I mentioned a lot of builders don't allow you to do that you actually have to go ahead and use a lot of CSS um, and you're gonna have to do a lot of um, extra things just to get it in there which is a real pain in the butt when you're just trying to create good quality websites nice and quick so that's um, that's the basic things I like about the builder there is also on Elementor all these other general WordPress things that you can add in like social icons um, you know sidebars all that sort of stuff there's also other site logos and things like that you can create um, there's also different posts and all that sort of good stuff as well as you know the WordPress basic default so once you have the pro or uh, the pro version added there's like infinite things that you can use for it um, which is really cool so that's basically what I wanted to show you on the builder side now before I get too far forward I actually just wanted to show you what that would look like um, I've created just a quick form and I've added it in here obviously it's all default text but as you can see once you get to the footer area you can actually drop in the templates that you've created in here and it'll quickly and easily add them in so if I add this to say uh, the last module as well obviously you wouldn't um, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like you've got this thing here called Elemental Library and if you add that in it gives you a list of all the templates that you've created and saved um, which makes it really customizable for your footer um, to actually add it in and just like so we will now have a newsletter form added so you can see how Elemental Pro has made it extremely easy to do so now what I want to show you is all of the Elemental Pro layouts that you can actually use all the templates um, in case you wanted to quickly 
uh, build a website either for yourself or for a client so if I click on this button here this is just a brand new blank page it isn't even published yet um, what you can do is this is where you create it from scratch or this is where your, all your templates will be and if you go to pages um, here is where you can see the different blocks and templates so if I start off with blocks blocks are just uh, segments that you can add into your website sometimes they have full pages like so but you can also just have the separate segments so if you want to keep adding to your website you can basically start with these and then um, you can piece together your own designs which makes it really really easy and if you wanted to use it um, you can either just press insert straight away or you can click on the magnifying glass to see a bigger version of what it actually looks like and as you can see they're all already um, automated they have things like um, animations things like uh, res mobile responsiveness so that they're already set to go all you need to do is just start piecing it together right so there's loads of them as well I think there's a few hundred on the pro version so there's more than enough to get you started um, like that is already really good looking for a blog website for example so you just drop that in and it's all ready to go next I want to show you the different types of page templates um, there's loads also in here as well as you'll notice there are a lot of them are the same and that's because it's part of a layout pack so essentially um, what you can do is when you find a sort of layout that you'd like you can type in the name of it so this one's online course this one's barbershop for example and it's going to show you all of the templates that are made for it and a lot of them have entire websites ready to go so if I scroll down I'm going to look for a quick one that I can um, show you in fact I'll show you the one I have already currently installed on this demo site so it's called law firm so if I wanted to build a uh, a website for a law firm or something similar I could just type in law firm and as you can see it's created all the different types of pages that I can actually use for the website so we have here partner page contact page services page another services page there's the home page careers page team page about page um, and at the bottom I think that's a different um, theme but that's pretty much what you can use as well so um, it makes it really easy to you know build websites with Elementor they've got more than enough templates to use and if you're looking for something that's quite popular for recent sort of times there's also the popular tab um, which can show you all these different things so something to think about there's loads of templates and if you wanted to install a template let's just say I wanted to use this um, this hotel page right um, once again just click on it to zoom in if you want to zoom in or else um, or if you're happy you can just press insert here and if you want to just to skip the initial page um, this one here you can just see at the bottom it has insert so you can just press that and it's going to load the page now it is going to take a few moments to load it is actually extracting all of the um, the images and importing them into your page but it doesn't take long as you can see it's already loaded so that's already ready to go and then from here you just come through you can change all the text that you want let's just say I wanted to create something new I love this place because it has breathtaking views and the staff are incredible something like that you know it's easy to you know move things around replace the text if you wanted to change the video on the left you've got all the information here you can also remove things like branding and um, you can loop it you can make it autoplay all that sort of stuff loads of features for each of the modules which is really good and if you just wanted to get rid of a few modules say you can just simply hover over it and press the X and if you wanted to say duplicate it you can actually right click and duplicate it so it's there so with Elementor it makes it really easy you can even duplicate just the single modules if you want and it's going to squeeze them in like that um, and you can also delete everything so it's it's all it's all really easy to use um, and the one thing I like about Elementor like I mentioned at the beginning there was a few things that really sold it to me and one of those is speed this page builder is incredibly fast um, a few other different types of page builders I've used in the past I've made really really long blog posts because I'm trying to get them really high ranking on um, Google for specific search terms and it's quite competitive so I generally make the blog post a lot longer and if I've used the page builders and I get like to maybe three or four pages long um, if you can imagine what a4 looks like extended the page builders get slow so 
the good thing with Elementor is it's actually a lot faster, right? So um, that's definitely one positive to think about, uh, especially because it is actually a big deal. So what I'm actually going to do now is jump behind the camera one more time. There's a few extra things I want to talk about, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, guys, so that is Elementor Pro. As you can see, it has loads of functionality. It has loads of templates. It's really easy to use. And once again, the really big reason I like it is because of speed speed um, i like to create you know a decent amount of content on pages and if you use too many elements and other page builders it can get really slow um, on top of that the page speed site is also dependent of your theme but relative to all of that the pages that i've created are extremely quick on things like gt metrics um, so that's a really good positive as well now a few extra things to think about as well elemental pro while it has pretty much all the features that you need in-house there are so many extra third-party plugins that you can um, you can add into elemental pro which makes it even more powerful um, majority of them are a uh, a paid and premium thing but depending on what your purpose is for it a uh, majority of the time you won't have it in other theme builders anyway because it's probably a little bit complex but one example is a, a little while ago i created uh oh, sorry i got a part of a lifetime deal for an email marketing company and that email marketing company doesn't have any integrations with your standard page builders but interestingly elemental had one so that was another reason i really liked it because as i had a massive plan for this new uh, email marketing company i could use the uh, add-ons inside of elemental so it seems elemental has made itself more available to the market and integrations with other companies which is really good and i'm actually going to talk about some other plugins that you can add to elemental to make it even powerful in other videos so if you want to check those out make sure you're subscribed so you can see them once they drop but apart from that guys that is elemental pro that's the elemental pro review it's an amazing amazing plugin that you can add to all of your websites to make the building process really easy um, it's super lightweight which i like and it's got loads of options so those things there are the reason i upgraded i haven't looked back from it either it's been a really good experience and if you have sort of liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i'd appreciate it um, and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about elemental pro i'm happy to help out once again that seo course is yours if you want it all the information's in the description and apart from that guys that's it from the video i'm excited to see you on more videos so make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you on the next one